Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and you love to see it. XRP is running again. Are we going to see XRP at $1 today? I don't know. It's not outside the realm of possibility, but we're already up about 11 cents in less than 24 hours, and at the time I'm recording this, it appears that XRP is running up yet again. And so uh, I want to talk about this, share with you some perspectives uh, directionally, where's the market going, some opinions from some chart analysts that I follow. And also, I would like to inform you that there is not enough cryptocurrency available on open markets today, not at these prices. And you, <laughs> that's what saying, like, you just wait, you just wait, because there's going to be a massive explosion in, uh, in cryptocurrency prices coming soon, which is why it's fun to see headlines like this one, for example, from NewsBTC. Why a shocking altcoin season could be on the horizon. Uh, indeed. And we are seeing coins take off. Um, I'm not going to read this article, but just I want to highlight another headline because you can get a feel for what is happening here. There's just so much opportunity uh, from the Daily Hodl. Four low-cap crypto assets spike more than 100% within one week. Not too shabby. So where did all the bears go? Remember when uh, about two weeks ago, maybe it was a little bit more than that, XRP got down to about 52 cents? And of course, since the price went lower, uh, that meant it was time to panic sell because reasons, <laughs> motion takes over. I tell you what, when you make buying and se selling decisions and uh, emotions in the driver's seat, uh, typically not going to go well. But, but look, think about that. So think about that. From 52 cents to uh, where XRP is today at 92.3 cents, 40 cent increase. And so it, when people were panic selling, they actually must have believed that XRP would never be worth more in the future than it was at, at that exact moment. It was never going to be worth more than where they panic sold, right? Uh, or they, or just capitulation purely because they couldn't handle the stress. But e either way, wow. Um, look, I do want to be clear at the outset, though, I don't have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who makes YouTube videos about crypto stuff, but purely as a very fun hobby. That's all that's going on here. Um, now, by the way, before I hit record on this, maybe about five minutes ago, the price of XRP was 90 cents, and, and now it's currently, as I record this, 92.3 cents. So that may mean nothing, but I, as I saw it go up that quickly, I was wondering, okay, What's it going to look like in an hour? Are we in an instance that you, we do see sometimes where uh, it just keeps running? Uh, and it may, the, the answer may be no, uh, but it was interesting to see it jump up that much. There's just there's so much action going around crypto today, and, and not uh, not just XRP. Bitcoin today is at forty six thousand five hundred eighty seven dollars. Market cap for the asset class one point nine five trillion. Ooh, getting back to that two trillion mark. And Bitcoin dominance declining forty down to forty four point seven nine percent, and that is because altcoins are taking off. Um, and so here's the 24-hour chart for Bitcoin. Fun to see this. And here you go, 24-hour low, 81.7 cents. So uh, that's that's a big move up in a single day. But, but honestly, in the end, even with the, the price increase, even at 92 cents, this is going to look like nothing by the time this market cycle is over, I personally suspect. You know, I, I'd kind of be surprised, and I'm not making a prediction. I, I don't pretend to know for sure, but I, I got to admit, I would be kind of surprised if we didn't see at least a $10 XRP this market cycle, just directionally seeing where uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum have already gone. And uh, th that also speaks to my confidence in the idea that we are going to see a final leg up in this market cycle before things do crater back down, But um, which is going to be fun. That'll be the most fun part uh, of this entire market cycle, you're really going to enjoy that. <laughs> Trust me, I was there for the last one. Uh, it is a good time. You will have a killer time. Uh, but after that, you will hear me, in all likelihood, it's a virtual certainty, you will hear me change my tune from uh, from crypto bull to crypto bear. I think there's going to be one final leg up. The bubble will fully inflate, and then it will pop. And it's not like it's going to go um, down all at once. It's not like you're going to have a 90% decline in one day, but you will have some very steep drops. And so just don't be surprised when you start hearing me say that. It's because, and, and why do I say that with confidence? Even though I admit I don't know for sure, but why do I have confidence? It's because history keeps repeating, guys. This is not complex, and people are treating this asset class the same as they were last market cycle and the one before that. So if it's going to change, we need to see some sort of difference in behavior, and we really aren't, So, which is not a complaint, by the way. You know, that, that provides me uh, with more confidence because I already have historical data on how humans have behaved. Uh, now, here's a, a tweet from chart analyst Leb Crypto. Uh, closing above red, and he's got a chart here. Closing above red would be bull market continuation confirmation. Closing back into the range that's pink on this chart would be a strong bearish signal, not interested in between. 
uh, Bitcoin still macro bullish on the weekly time frame, market structure intact. And so what he, the, the most important thing out of all this that he's indicating is, hey, for <laughs> for this things to really, really, really start rocking it up insanely, uh, a true continuation, major continuation to the upside, you're basically looking for Bitcoin to break above that fifty thousand dollar price level, and uh, that's it, it, all good things in time. And he's not the only one that thinks that. So here's a tweet I, that caught my attention too from chart analyst Michael Vandepop, and he has a very similar opinion, actually. He wrote, uh, Bitcoin's still facing heavy resistance zone while altcoins are accelerating. Don't forget to take profits. And you can see the upper end of the zone that he's talking about would be Bitcoin at $48,926. So at this point, we're kind of splitting hairs. The point is, this is roughly where uh, the major resistance zone is, but once it's above that, off to the races, my friends. And then Michael Vandepop also tweeted this out. I don't know what the markets might bring in the short term. A correction is possible, especially given the heavy resistances um, everything is acting in. I do know in the long term that crypto is the market with the highest potential by the dips. Yeah, exactly. Which is why by the time you're watching this, who, who the hell knows? Maybe the market's going to be down. You're like, why is Moon Nimble starting, starting, Man, Moon Nimble starting the video off all excited about price and this and that? It's much down. Well, you're a future person. That would be why if that happens. But it doesn't matter. Like people need to have sufficiently long uh, time frames in mind when in, in investing, frankly. But uh, that's why I keep saying, even from this exact moment in time, I firmly believe that uh, the cryptocurrency asset class will be the best asset class to invest in over the next decade. I could not be more confident in that. Uh, it's a brand new asset class. Uh, there's a frenzy around it. And the markets are so illiquid that you can get these incredible multiplier effects. It just doesn't take too many new people and it doesn't take too much new money coming into the space to, to have things just go parabolic for, for uh, returns to be asymmetrical relative to any other asset class. And so that's why for me, I've, I've understood this for years and years and years, which is why I've just, my, my strategy is buy and hold and just nothing else. That's it. Just be patient. And I think that's going to pay off very well for me because look, yeah, most of the time I've been in crypto, we've been in a damn bear market, which I still had fun. It's not as fun as this bull stuff. Bull stuff's more fun. Uh, but uh, I was down in my investments for the vast majority of that time. And now I'm substantially up. And the people jumping in now, like you could have also bought when nobody was paying attention to, but like they like people didn't. But but that's okay. Some people didn't like they didn't even really know about crypto. Like some people really are truly brand new to this. But I gotta tell you, you're not late to the party, which is why I say even after this bubble fully inflates and pops, just like hang around. I, I tell you what, if you want somebody to hang out with during the bear market, I, I promise you, I'm not going away. In fact, I started this YouTube channel at the bottom of the last bear market, like right at the bottom, middle of December 2018. And I'm going to be excited during the bear market because I'm going to be purchasing everyone's fear as prices tank 80 or over 90% for some cryptocurrencies. That's what I anticipate will happen anyway. And yes, I will be buying it up on the cheap and I will be down in those investments probably for a number of years. And then at some point, uh, you know, things are cyclical, more money pours in, new people, new eyes get to, attracted to, uh, to the, the, the space and then it rockets up and then I was there first. So it's just like planting little traps. That's what I'm doing. Uh, and then there's this tweet from El Capo. Aptly put, he wrote, good morning, market looking awesome, send everything. I, I just liked it. I just thought I'd share that. <laughs> All right. Um, and so then there was this um, from the Daily Huddle. Bitcoin remains undervalued despite rally to $45,000, according to on-chain analyst Will Clemente. Popular analyst Will Clemente says Bitcoin remains undervalued based on the strength of the leading cryptocurrency's on-chain fundamentals. In his latest weekly overview, Clemente highlights two surging on-chain metrics, which he says are significantly outpacing the rise of Bitcoin's value. And check out this, uh, this quote now. And there's, a, there's a, a chart on the screen if you care to look. In blue, illiquid supply shock ratio, which compares the movement of coins from liquid, weak hands, uh, and entities, to illiquid, strong hands, entities. In purple, exchange supply shock ratio, which compares the amount of supply held on exchanges relative to overall circulating supply. Both of these are trending strongly upwards with price lagging behind, which, by the way, is what you'd, you'd expect. So you're seeing uh, basically a bunch of Bitcoin and Bitcoin, Bitcoin leads the market. This is important. You're seeing a bunch of Bitcoin being bought up by strong hands. You're seeing a bunch of Bitcoin uh, going into deep cold storage, which means less is available on exchange. Simple supply and demand, my friends. It's simple supply and demand. Price is going to catch up to this. And then once that starts going, uh, you end up, you've seen this time and time again in crypto for the last 12 years, roughly, that the asset class has existed. Once that starts, uh, you know how humans behave. 
if, once things start running, because people don't want to buy stuff when it's cheap. Once it starts running, they have the validation. It now feels safe, and it's actually less safe at that moment in time. But still, humans don't know what the hell they're doing. And so they see that, and then they all start piling in. And so all you need is a little bit more. And then, don't forget, there's already not enough Bitcoin on the planet for everybody. Not at these prices. Definitely not at these prices. And so according to Clemente, the sustained rise of the illiquid supply shock ratio and exchange supply shock ratio suggests that market participants continue to accumulate Bitcoin. Uh, the on-chain analyst adds that he's looking at retail traders as the cohort shows signs of increased buying and holding behaviors. And here's another quote. The little guys have been buying Bitcoin like crazy. Their holdings have not only increased as a percentage of overall supply, but also as a percentage of supply held by entities with little spending history. Strong hands. So uh, I'm just saying that congratulations to you for paying attention and to everybody else that said over the last couple months that uh, that we were in a bear market. Um, all I can say is, now how are you going to act? <laughs> because here we are. Here we are, son. Uh, so I'm feeling good. So hopefully uh, XRP keeps trending upwards. Now it's down to 91.9 cents. Oh, I guess that actually, you know what? I just felt really scared all of a sudden. It went from 92.3 cents to 91.9 cents. I think I better go sell all my XRP. It's probably just going to keep trending down. It'll never be worth more in the future. <sighs> Obviously, I'm being sarcastic, but this is the type of mindset that people that don't know what the hell they're doing engage in. Like they, like they feel emotions and then they do something. I'm like, eh, all right. You do you, you do you, and I'm going to do me, which means I'm going to do absolutely nothing but hold. <laughs> so there we are. All right, I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo.